This is an Andy's Randomness special report. Recording now, Andy Pollock. This is a special report from Andy's Randomness. Good evening, I am Andy Pollock. We are doing this report. I don't know how long it will be, but I'll try to get straight to the point. We have a Amtrak derailment in the Bronx that is causing a service suspension at this particular moment, specifically after 8 p.m. on Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. There is no service on the Northeast Corridor of Amtrak between New York City and New Haven, Connecticut. What appears to be a freight train derailment in the vicinity of East 149th Street and Bruckner Boulevard in the Bronx. So we will get to the uh, location and a picture I actually got from Channel 4 earlier this evening. So let's get into this. So let me just zoom in if you are on a mobile device or a tablet. You can see. <clears throat> Amtrak service between New York City and New Haven, Connecticut is canceled until further notice due to an earlier freight train derailment in the Bronx. So this is the tweet that they sent out. And I will take you to my Twitter feed in just a second. And we'll also check the Camper News Twitter feed to see what they are reporting. The derailment happened just before 6 p.m. near East 149th Street and Bruckner Boulevard. The derailment is impacting the Amtrak overhead catenary system and trains were stopped while damage was, ass was assessed. No injuries were reported. So let's get into... What's going on here? So let me see if I can find my Twitter feed. Here we go. Yes, okay. So this is what I just sent out a couple minutes ago. This is the picture I just tweeted out. As you can see here, this is when I was working out earlier this evening. I was having a Vubo on my Kindle. And as you can see, I was watching my tape and... This is what Chopper 4 was showing earlier this evening in terms of pretty much what happened tonight with this derailment. So, to give you an idea, and I know this area pretty well. If we could zoom out, that would be, that would help me a lot. So, as you can see here, I know this area pretty well. This is not too far from Hunt, Hunt's Point. And what happened was yesterday in this area, where this train yard is, turns out, right in this exact area, there was a warehouse fire yesterday, a five alarm that I was also keeping an eye on, but, you know, since this is strange rise, I wanted to, of course, keep an eye on this. So again, this is not too far from where the Triborough Bridge is. There you have it. That's the Triborough Bridge right there. Because the Triborough Bridge literally links up over here. And then you have the Major Deegan, of course, right where the uh, Willis Avenue and Third Avenue bridges are, where, of course, normally when I'm in Manhattan... That's where I take the home of a drive up to the GW. <clears throat> so, let's check Twitter and see if my colleague Camper News gave any information. Because I'm sure he was just live a while ago, but he had to leave the air because he had um he had prior commitments tonight. I mean, I'm only doing a pre-tape because I also have prior commitments as well, so... I'm trying to go as quick as I can. Okay, so good news is if you want coverage on Camper News, he will be back. So if you are looking for Matt Camper's YouTube channel, um, type in K-A-M-P-E-R after you spell Matt. If you are looking for uh, coverage later tonight. So Mary Lynn Buckley tweeted from News 12 The Bronx earlier. 
So, she gave out this information as well. Good news is, in terms of Metro North, they are cross-honoring tickets for the uh, passengers, it looks like, for New Haven. It could be considered cross-honoring, but a limited sense. But, you know, the thing is, they should just tell people overall to at least use Metro North. See, that would make sense. You just go to Grand Central and then go that way. Just crazy. Here's a good tweet from Andy Kinto from Passengers United. How can Amtrak, any sea lord, say that they are cross-honoring does not make sense. It works in a lot of transit agencies across the country. Amtrak needs to refund passengers. No wonder why people do not like taking Amtrak because of poor management. So, look. This is what Metro North sent to Matt Camper earlier. We can even zoom in. Can we zoom in? I think there's a way to zoom into this. There we go. I was told by Amtrak that this isn't cross-honoring in a technical sense, but for all intents and purposes, it could be considering cross-honor. But in all sense, they should be cross-honoring. There's no excuse why the MTA can't cross-honor with Amtrak in this emergency. Because you're paying an expensive Amtrak fee to go to Connecticut. You're getting more amenities on Amtrak. And did not even have that Amtrak service. To be downgraded to commuter rail line, which Amtrak is the top, then I don't know. I mean, this is just insanity. But if Andy Kinto got the um, screenshot earlier, big kudos because that's a big development right there. So I'll be retweeting this as I go along here. So. Look, see what I mean. Overhead wire smoking causing Amtrak delays. Because I had a bad feeling this was going to be an all-nighter, and it's looking like to be an all-nighter at this point. Okay, Abscott, not a car, and I'm sorry if I can't pronounce this correctly. Um, Amtrak has offloaded the passengers at New Haven, and it's provisioning Metro North to Grand Central because of the delay due to the Bronx train derailment. So I don't get it. Are they making Amtrak trains go to GCT? Because normal circumstances, you do have your Amtrak trains that do go through GCT. Under normal circumstances. But that's not correct spelling. I'm sorry. I mean, if you're going to send a tweet, be careful with the spelling. You know, you can get in big trouble for that. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Now, this is an interesting thing that happened. So, Dakota DeMato tweeted, I'm supposed to be on train 175 to Philadelphia and there have been no updates. Is there an estimated time of arrival on this derailment? Trying to make an educated decision on moving to travel. My advice to this woman would be two things. You could either take NJT to Trenton, then go west to Philadelphia Union, which would be my best recommendation if she was traveling from Penn. Just take NJT instead in that situation. Or two... Try to get a bus from Port Authority and then go to Philadelphia that way. Because if you go to the Port Authority, there's a bunch of buses that go to Philadelphia. And not to mention, this woman's going to PA. Remember, there's no 14-day quarantine order for COVID. So, mention that very quickly. <laughs> See? Th this is what I mean. I agree with this woman, you know? I'll just mention that the reason why there's support for Biden, because again, remember, Biden used to ride Amtrak regularly between Delaware and D.C. He rode, he rode it from Wilmington. There's even a station in Wilmington named after Joe Biden. So, <laughs> can't make this stuff up. 
I mean, it's not that hard to cross on our Amtrak. It's really not that hard to cross on our Amtrak. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you can go on the Amtrak app. Oh, this is a good one from the Corte de Mato. The $650 million federal subsidies. Yep, it's a joke that we that, that it's either Twitter or us YouTubers that have to that don't that, that have to give us that have to give coverage. I mean, I'm stuttering because I'm just mad that local media doesn't, you know, really think of taking this seriously. So, what's going to happen is we're probably not even going to get an update from any New York affiliate until 10 o'clock tonight. So, there you have it. I mean, that's all the update I can give you right now. I mean, again, I can't really go nonstop like Matt Camper. So, again, um, what I'm going to do right now is plug Matt Camper when he goes live. So, I will show you his YouTube channel briefly before I wrap up this recording because again I am going to open up my wonder share right now as I let YouTube load up I'm just making sure I can load up my wonder share at least there we go okay let me just make sure we can get Matt on here so we will search for Matt camper so again you can search for Matt Camper on YouTube or search for Camper News Network. Again, that's K-A-M-P-E-R News Network. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have the bell notification turned on. So that way you know that Matt is live. Also, the same thing for my channel. Whenever I upload... Make sure that um, you are subscribed to me. Have the bell turned on. Also, if you are on the Discord server of Andy's Randomness, you will get notified every time that I upload a video. The me bot will notify you when I do post. So, with that, we will officially wrap up our coverage. Once again, please tune to Camper News Network at 9.30 Eastern for more coverage. I know I will try to tune in, but again, I might not be able to because I have a couple of personal phone calls I have to, you know, take care of tonight. So with that, thank you for watching. This has been an Andy's Randomness special report.